Hello there. Uh, laugh at myself sometimes. This little adapter. It looks a lot like the homemade hillbilly one that I made. And we got water. Okay, the time has come to give this baby a test drive. We are going to unbox our Sawyer gravity filter system that we're going to, uh, I'm sure we're going to use it at our base camp. Okay, the time has come to give this baby a test drive to see if it's all that it says it is and all that we need it to be for our, our, our base camp. Uh, before I let the water flow, I uh, thought I'd just talk a second about what in the world is this other apparatus sitting over here. Well, this is what we currently use when we backpack and even if we're having a base camp, this is a system that we've used to, to hang it up and let it go and it drips and you end up with water. Uh, I created this little adapter, and I'll make a video or show how I made it. This little adapter here um, that hooks a smart water bottle to a smart water bottle and a Sawyer in the middle, and it just drips. So I've been kind of using this type of method for a while instead of pushing it through, squeezing it, just letting it drip. That way you can go out and set up your tent go do something else you don't have to stand there and squeeze the dang water bottle so we got over the squeeze part of the Sawyer squeeze a long time ago and started using a drip gravity flow method like this we're hoping that at base camp for sure this will help us make more water faster if it's just the two of us it isn't that big a deal but like this September we're gonna have a group of people there at base camp and and just like to go down to the creek and get water, filter it, move on. That way we aren't getting all these gallons of water we bought at the mini mart, throwing all these plastic jugs away. We just like to filter our water and drink it. It's worked great for us. Sawyer has always treated us right. Worked good. So I'm kind of fired up to give this a whirl because if it can make a gallon in seven minutes, it's a home run. Here we go. Oh, I... Before I start, I figured out what this gizzy was. That's made to put on here, sorry, here, in case you're worried about this kinking. I don't see that being a problem. And uh, in this setup here on my patio, I'm gonna drain this, filter this water down into my retro Coleman cooler that my wife found at a yard sale. And that's gonna be our canister because we like not throwing things away. So here we go. We're going to see how the water flows when I open the valve. Drum roll! Wow. That's impressive. Boy, at that rate, it probably will make a gallon pretty fast. I can see that I might have to do something about making it hang all the way up because you're going to end up with some water down in here. Oop, we're going to end up on the patio here. But you're going to end up when this is the way this hangs. Maybe. Oh, that's better. Okay. Learn as I go. That's better, but we'll still end up with some water down here that doesn't filter. No biggie, just put some dang more water in there and do it. But if it, I could get it to tip a little bit, you could get it all to go through. So that's pretty cool. Now over here, my, my old fashioned method, I gotta give it a little air. And what happens with this system over here is this system, as you use it, the more you use it, the faster the flow goes. We had it really, at first, at the last camp, it took a while to make it a, a liter of water. And then after it got going and just got to working through, somehow it just 
works better and we could get a liter of water pretty fast. What I do to make this function, and they said to even do that here, what I do to make it function better is you give it a little air once in a while. See the bubble? Give it a little bit of air and then it'll go on. And again, it's, that's just hooked together with, with this little thing that I made out of two smart water, water caps, drilled some holes in it, ran some Gorilla tape around it, and voila, an adapter that fits on both, and it works great. The Sawyer Squeeze is what we've always used. This is new to us, but boy, I think this experiment Hope the camera's picking that water flow up. The instructions, I did read the instructions a little bit. It's totally unlike me. It says you got to keep this below the back. That makes sense. It's a gravity system. Interesting thing I noticed, I noticed that they even showed like laying the bag on a table and then letting it drip off. Wow, this is going to be a home run for us. That's about half gone already. Successful unboxing and testing of the Sawyer Gravity Feed one gallon system. I'm happy with it. I'm sure we'll use it over and over again. Sure beats buying gallon jugs of water and putting more plastic in the landfill. Okay. Now we're going to test something else out that they gave us in this kit. This little adapter. It looks a lot like <laughs> the homemade hillbilly one that I made. Let's find out how that works if you just want to fill one water bottle and go. Okay, so that screws on there. I hope the bottle screws on here. I think I would like to have a, and they make them, some sort of a shut off in the line let's see how she does though well you know i learn as i go a minute ago i said boy i sure wish i could put a little shut off valve in here and i know they make such a thing but then it hit me you know don't make things complicated keep it simple there stupid um, this water is flowing if i want to shut it off it's pretty easy <laughs> <laughs> laugh at myself sometimes but it does have a shut off system. Just pinch the hose and it'll be fine. Let the hose go and we got water. Oh my gosh. Here's my old method. I don't know how they got the flow. Do not know how they got the flow to go from this to this, but it's a super huge improvement. I was always happy with this, just took a little patience. This is going to fill up a liter in like nothing flat. I should have timed it.